Currently, the world's benchmark index, the S&P 500, is trading at a 21 forward multiple, with the average forward multiple over the past 10 years being around 15. By any measure, the S&P is trading at a premium and usually a rich multiple like this is sold by the market, unless we are expecting very high revenue and EPS growth, which we are not. However, there are reasons to believe that maybe this time around the market will not sell off. As you can see from the next two charts, currently there are about $4.7 trillion in money market funds in the United States, with the total bank deposits hovering at around 15 trillion. So on the one hand, we have a rich multiple by historic measures, and on the other, we have record amounts of dry powder that could potentially be invested. Currently, a game of chicken is taking place between the bears and the bulls, and each is waiting for the other to blink. In theory, the market should correct, but we all know that eventually the money on the sidelines will be put to work at some point. But as long as the market does not correct, anxiety will be building up for the bears because they might miss out. This despite the economy not returning to pre-COVID-19 conditions anytime soon. Who will win this fight is anyone's guess. The bottom line is that the market is in a stalemate and we don't know who will blink first. On the one hand, we have a rich multiple with worsening economic conditions, but on the other, we have record dry powder on the sidelines that can potentially backstop any serious correction.